hey what's up guys this is creative creator here so today in this video i will show you how you can make a ir blaster for your phone or any other tablet which don't have ir blaster inbuilt like xiaomi phones so today in this video i will say you how it works and how you can make it very cheap in 15 rupees indian so you can make it as well so by the way i have made a facebook page go there follow me there so with that being said leave a like subscribe to this channel and let's jump into the video for making this project we need two ir leds you can collect it from your old remotes but i have collected from the shop buying links are given in the description box below go there check it out so here you can see there are two legs of the leds those are the ir leds and the bigger pin is the positive and smaller pin is the negative so what you have to do is we have to connect those leds in parallel but make a thing that make sure that you have you have to connect one's bigger terminal to another small terminal so it means that one's positive terminal should be connected to the another's negative terminal so and vice versa so it means that it is the uh, it is the positive terminal which is the bigger leg should be connected to the another LED's negative terminal which is the small leg so now we have only two legs so now you can see there are only there are only two terminals so now we have to solder it for for more stable connections if you, you can escape it but i am doing it for more or better performance if you don't have you can buy from the description box below from now we can we know that there are two type of headphone in the diagram you can see there are three type of headphones are configured here the first one is the is you can use in the stereo so here you can see there are three terminals one is ground and right and left right and left uh, considers the right channel and left channel audio so we have to use only right channel and left channel we, we omit the ground channel and the similar ways when you can see the, in the Nokia and the iPhone Apple you can see the, there are mic position also and ground position also and the for the Apple it is the opposite so we don't want to use that so we will skip that and we will use only the left and the right so if you can use uh, any one of these three diagrams so for my project I will use uh, from my old headphone which is obviously the uh, Nokia headphone so now I will do is I will take a Nokia headphone and cut the jack and I will use that and I will connect those uh, those two LEDs with the left and the right pin so now what we'll do is so I will go to the uh, go to the connection settings and you can see here the here is the here is the jack and when I open it then you can see the here is the jack and then you can see it is the terminal there are there are four terminals here so we have to connect the end two terminals so we are connecting soldering it we are soldering it with the end two terminals with it you have to carefully connect it solder carefully solder it because if you short it your phone might be going to travel so what you have to do is you have to go to the now play store and then uh, uh, then search for apk which i have given in the description box below which is zz remote so you can search it from there and you can install it and after that you have to wait for the installation so after that i am using a in focus device which does, does not provide any any type of any type of IR remote sensing so here is the app is installed now we have to do is we have to just click on click on the go go now and then you can see in the upper icon you have to click head over to the upper icon and then go to the settings and then go to the advanced settings options and after that you have to maximize all the options that I am doing here so do all the settings which I am doing in the screen so now I am I have made all the changes I think so all the changes are made and all the changes are set it to high and you can set it as well so now I am selecting my remote which is the Onida remote so you can search your remote for if you have a Sony then you can search for Sony so now you can see there is not connected any type of any type of I, any type of rem, uh, IR blasters so now you have to select any uh, any name for the remote and after that you can see it is the Onida TV and then I have to enter the uh, enter the um, enter the IR blaster uh, when I uh, look here in the screen that when I connect the IR blaster then a pop-up message comes and then you have to select OK for the confirmation and after that if your if your headphone jack is below then you can rotate it from there but in my case it is the front panel so I will simply click on not rotate 
so now you can see your remote is all okay and you can use your remote so now what we will do is you can see the, the the buttons and when i click on the buttons then you can see the, the settings have been changed so it means that it is working so you can use in in your house and you can use your control your ac you can control your tv home theater and any and many other higher devices so so now you can see it is opening in the play store and also working very much fine so guys that's pretty much enough for this video hit the like button and consider subscribing if you have gained something new from this video follow me on social sites and by the way i have got a new website techwisha.com I am posting new articles there, go there, check it out, links are given in the description box below. So that's all about this video, I hope you have a great day, thank you so much for watching and this is Riman signing out, hope to see you guys in my next video, peace out.